today i am going to solve question number questions number 5 and 6 of exam style questions of chapter number 2 in question number 5 a you have been asked to describe symmetric encryption and in question number 5 b you have been asked to describe asymmetric encryption i have taken the definitions of symmetric and asymmetric encryption from um, the glossary of your book symmetric encryption is a type of encryption in which the same encryption key is used both to encrypt and decrypt a message so along with the data one uh, public key is generated by the sender and it it is sent along with the data to the receiver and the receiver uses the same public key in order to decrypt its data but asymmetric encryption is a type of encryption which uses public keys and private keys to ensure data is secure and basically the recipient uh, generates basically the ge uh, recipient of the message generates two keys one is public one is private the public key is sent to the sender to encrypt its data um, to encrypt its message and the sender uh, the sender encrypts the message and sends the data to the recipient the recipient uses its own private key matching uh, its own pri private matching key in order to decrypt the data now comes part c in part c you have been asked explain why encryption is used when transmitting data over the network the answer is this when data is i have uh, taken the answer from your book that when data is transmitted over any public network either it is wireless or wired there is always a risk of interception of data in, in, um, which can be done by a hacker uh, uh, under these circumstances a hacker is often referred to as an eavesdropper who tries to look at someone's personal information as the data is in, not in a readable form after encryption it's not plain text it is a it is an encrypted text on which a formula has been applied encryption alters data from uh, to a form that is unreadable by anyone from whom uh, for for whom it is not intended so the data is altered the data is changed some sort of formula is applied to it it's not plain text so it cannot be intercepted by anyone who reads it now comes question number 6 in which you have been given six terms and you have to uh, uh, tell uh, you have to give their explanations in part number 1 the definition in part number 1 is description in part number 1 is this a method of error detection um, in which a value is calculated from a block of data and is sent with the block of data during data transmission you can see it from your book that in checksum a block of data is considered some sort of algorithm is applied a value is calculated and that uh, a value is calculated and is transmitted along with a block of data which is recalculated on the receiver's end and if the two values are same then the data has no it is considered that the data has no error in part b you have to tell a uh, the term in which a method of error detection in which there is a method of error detection which is based on counting the number of bits using an additional bit which is the most significant bit in the byte so you know that in parity checks the most significant bit is on the leftmost side and uh, in this type of check an additional bit is added to one byte so the answer is parity check now comes the third part in third part it is written that a data transmission method where data can be sent in both directions at the same time simultaneously you can see it from your book that in full duplex transmission data is sent is in both directions at the same time so full and um, uh, this third part will be matched to full duplex then comes the next part a data transmission method where data is sent one bit at a time over a single wire or channel so when it comes to the number of bits if one only one bit is going along a single wire that method is known as serial transmission so uh, it will be matched to serial now the next part a data error occurring when 
data arrives at the destination out of synchronization you, you know it really well that if the data becomes out and uh, if the data does not remain synchronized it means it becomes skewed so the answer of this part will be uh, skewed data that is not in a uh, proper sequence now comes the last part a form of serial data transmission which allows devices to communicate with the computer with a computer it has become the industrial standard you know that the usb is ty the type of um, cable that has become the industrial standard so the last part will be matched to universal serial bus that was all about questions number five and six now i will do questions number seven and eight next time thank you